Hello, Barmy Badger Army. Welcome to another show. Yes, this is another in real life chat about my local area, Havering. Now, I'm not impressed at this. But before we get on to that, this is an entertainment channel where we do vlogs, videos, streams, movies. Yes, we create movies and shorts. And if you enjoy an enter all round entertainment channel, this one is for you. And I hope to see more of you guys. And if you are a new subscriber, please say hi. And of course, don't forget you can become a member or get a cameo or a super chat to help the show for less than 99 pence. And it is much appreciated. Now, let's go back to what we were going to talk about. Now, of course, Havering Council once again have done the dirty on me. I feel personally attacked. Not only have I been trapped in a lift, not only have I been forced, press ganged, into paying my water bill when before it was completely free on my council, uh, not only have I been made late by the local buses. So let's have a think. Right, let's rewind on this one. Buses made late to get home after a really stressful day. Paid for water bill when I have went years without doing it because they said it's in their best interests. Right, so Havering Council now make us pay our water bill. And this is going to add on to what else. And then they think it's fine to leave me trapped in a lift for an hour. And guess what they've done now? Cancelled the Christmas light show. So, where's all that money you're saving on the water bills going, eh? You're saving all that money on the water, yet you can't afford to do a Christmas light show for little kids and their families. Bar humbug, Havering Council. Bar humbug to you. Bar humbug. You know, not being funny, we've had some great times there. Me and Badger Jr. have been there for years, ever since he was an absolute little nipper. And, a, and it was appropriate to go. We've been. And we've seen all the 80s and 90s acts. And we've seen the Christmas lights get turned on. And we've seen all the fireworks. And it's been a wonderful time. And now, Havering Council have robbed us of these wonderful occasions. Thanks. So not only was I made late to get home, trapped in a lift, paid for water bill that I can't really afford, thanks. Now you've taken away my Christmas lights. What is the matter with you? What actually is the matter with you, Havering Council? I want to know. It's not in the budget. I'm sorry. Last year alone, there was thousands of people there. Absolutely thousands. It was even. You must have made so much money on market stalls, merchandise alone, bringing people into the area. You cannot tell me all that. Most of the acts are for free or schools or organisations that are promoting their own things anyway. You know, you can't tell me you can't afford an 80s band and some fireworks. It would be very disappointed. That is not cool. That is not cool. Also, you're missing out on showcasing local talent. You're missing out on promoting local talent. You're missing out on, you know, extra revenue, extra bus, all these different things. Well, don't get on the bus with an electric scooter. Oh. Or a normal scooter, for that matter. Oh. But, you know, I'm sorry, but you're missing out on all that extra revenue that you did. All the pubs made a fortune that day and that evening. I know several people that were like, oh, you're going to come down? No, I've got work. <coughs> they literally were there the whole morning till the evening and the whole day. And you can't tell me that's not brought money into the area. And you cannot tell me that Time FM did it through the grace of their heart. You know, I bet they did some of it for free, but that brings money into the area. You're bringing money into the radio station. The radio station gets more popular. They get money. You get money because they get money. You get more money because they become more popular. You know, I'm sorry. You know, most of the people did that for the love of. All the dancers were there doing it for the love of. There's probably one or two paid acts last year. I think there was a old school 80s singer and then i think we had you know was it boy zone or something like that you know 
And I'm sorry, you cannot tell me you can't afford that. Because, you know, the money that was brought into the area, even on that Christmas period alone, it was well worth it. And, you know, all that promotion of getting people into the shops, free car parking on Sundays, everyone always flocks there, the Christmas shopping, you cannot tell me it's not in the budget. And if, if it's not in the budget and you've been spending money that is on my water bill now, I want to know why. Please, Havering Council, tell me why that you're not able to afford it, especially as every single council uh, person in the local area now has to pay their water bill, whereas before it was for free. So please tell me what you're doing with all that extra 50 to 60 pounds an extra month. Because I'd really like to know. And if you're not using it appropriately, I'd like that money back, thanks. Because I would like a Christmas show, damn it. I would like a bloody Christmas light show where I can say to my son, look, there's loads of cool fireworks up there. And woo, and Merry Christmas, everyone. Countdown and all that jazz. And we wish you a Merry Christmas and celebrate with people that you haven't seen for years because they're in a massive, massive, party atmosphere i'm sorry i want my water bill money back if you can't afford it and you're raking no money in but you can't afford to do a bloody christmas show are you sure i don't think you are sure are you because that is not very fair you're making people pay extra rent extra bills extra amenities yet you can't afford a christmas show hmm hmm I'm sensing a rat here, you know, not very happy. Like you were saying, there's been loads of lovely memories there. And this is why I get angry, because there's so many lovely memories attached to that show. You know, Badger Jr. wanting to come out and like, oh, yeah, me rushing to get him from school. And then we catch in the start of it. And then there's a pantomime. There's singing. There's all the fireworks. You get the jokes. The nice presenter that does it every single year for the love of his heart. You know, probably gets paid a fortune, but still, you know, it's for the from the love. You can tell it's knackering, it's exciting, it's fun. It's not easy doing that because you're obviously going from being a radio presenter to then going doing a live show. That's not easy. So that's got to be a lot of hard work. And all the planning and all the different things. And last year when the when the electricity blew and we all thought it was a conspiracy theory, who knew what was going on? <laughs> With a little bit of luck, you'll make it through the night. Loved it. You know, MC Neat and all that was fantastic. And wasn't it, was it Boys Own or someone the other year? I get confused which year was which. Nick will know, I hopefully he'll comment. But I am very disappointed because this is what brings families together memories together hope and love at christmas in our local area because if you think like you might find you don't see anyone all year but they go oh yeah let's meet up for this and families all connecting together and i see people that i've known for years and i see them all at the front all connected up all heights sizes weights you know every different type of person possible and they're all intermingling, all having fun together, all laughing and joking, and that is going to be missed. I'm not being funny. If you've ever been to the Christmas night switch on in Romford, there's literally tons and tons of people there, right? Tons. And that is going to go to waste now. Where is your community spirit, Havering Council? Please tell me, because I want to know. And what are you going to do in replacement of this? Tell me now indeed thank you very much for watching guys and on the spirited happy note let me know your memories of your christmas lights switch on in the comments below and let me know your favorite times at christmas thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye